Dave. This is Dave with the Shepherd School, and today what we're going to do is we're going to make us a rain barrel. Went down to that uh, Nashville Barrel and Drum or Crate and Drum, whatever it's called. Um, got me a, uh, I believe it's coconut oil, you know, some sort of flavor, whatever, food grade barrel for $14. Bought a $20 diverter and then some pieces of pipe and such, and we're going to uh, make our rain barrel. Now our rain barrel is a little different. We don't have to cut the top off because the design we're using and because the diverter we're using um, has its own overflow. So once it overflows, it, the rain will go back down the regular downspout like, uh, like it would without a rain barrel. And so that makes things a lot simpler. So let me show you what we're going to do. I'm using a Odie Mystic Rainwater Collection System and it's a three-part deal. You just cut into your downspout and you push this up in the top and then that fits on just like that okay and it's got a, the rainwater comes in debris comes down if it overflows and the overflow comes out over here so all I need to do regular downspout rest of the downspout this fits in in the middle and then this hose comes out to my rain barrel okay so all I have to do is on one end drill a hole and insert this. All I've got, a little half inch pipe nipple, 90 degree elbow, I believe this is about a five inch pipe nipple, and a coupling, and then I have a boiler um, drain, okay? And what we're going to do is we're going to drill a hole in that bung and screw it in just like that, okay? Now the boiler came with the little boiler drain came with a little nut so we're just gonna put that on there just like that okay so we screwed that in put the nut on there and just for giggles and because I've got some already mixed I'm gonna throw some JD weld on that all right there you go and then this Just screws in just like that okay. here's the bone drilled a hole in it three-quarter inch put a uh, half inch pipe nipple in there screwed the 90 degree elbow to it took the little plastic uh, screw in bushing off of the the boiler drain valve screwed in on the other end right put some JB weld in there just because I had some that's probably overkill Five inch pipe nipple, half inch coupling, half inch boiler drain valve. Okay? And you could do that with three quarter inch too if you wanted. Alright? Alright, so we come outside over here and it's a downspout. Put two cinder blocks down, and then across it I put my old beehive stand. I knocked out most of the rebar uh, because I'm going to end up putting a second um, bucket over there eventually, but for now I'm just going to get it started. Okay? So that eventually is going to hold two. And then up here, according to the instructions, I marked off at least 24 inches higher than this, a six inch block. So I got a line here, I got a line here, I got a piece of cardboard here to protect my siding, and now I'm just going to cut that out. Alright, now I'm just going to put the pieces in. Slide it in together just like that. Okay, now time to put in my hose. Alright, so I had to pull the sound off because my air conditioner kicked in. And I lost arbor for my hole saw, so I'm going to use my Dremel tools. Right here I'm just drawing out a circle so I know where to cut. 
and it's not as pretty as if I used a hole saw, but it uh, it works. All right, I ended up with getting the thing cut, and I just pushed the uh, piece of flexible pipe through, and uh, it's done. All right, and there it is, finished product. Um, really ain't much to it. I'm pretty pleased with the results. And until next time, you can always catch online at www.dmgun.com.